Hello everyone, Wangjo here, and welcome back to Wimworld. So in the last episode, we had a few things happen, to say the least. Mainly, we had a big bug problem up in our freezer that we had to deal with. Luckily, we had no casualties, and we didn't really take that many injuries. We also had a marriage take place between our first major couple of the colony, Gizmo and Squid, which was quite a nice little moment in all the madness of last time. And finally then, among other stuff, we've got a few more beasties growing in these incubators. Now, one of them should be fairly done. In fact, this one is 99%, 100%. And let's see what happens when you combine wolf bear DNA. We've got Mahud, a male wolf bear. Okay, he looks pretty cool, I must say. Let's check him out. A wolf bear hybrid, very similar to the standard timber wolf, but with better stamina. Useful abilities, good guard animal. Open butcher and gives wolf bear paws, which can be sold. Okay. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to jump to get wolf bear paws. I'm going to keep Mahud around a little bit longer, I think. But first of all, we need to swap your food over. So this way and then... Where is it? Hey, Kibble. Oh, hey, Kibble. There we go. So you're going to be off and doing that. Now, thanks to that infestation, we didn't have a whole bunch of genetic material that we managed to make. And we did do a bit of recombinations, didn't we? So let me just check my gene pool and see what we actually got. So we got a good gem, genes. So you got feline, muffalo, wolf, humanoid, and insectoid. Okay, got a few different combinations. I wouldn't mind looking into a bit more along the lines of doing genetic implants this time round. So I might keep these for the moment, but what about Paragons? Let's have a quick look. Para... Oh, hello. We can actually make a Paragon Boomalope and a Paragon Rat. Now I have to be honest, I'm not that particularly keen for the Rat, but the Boomalope could be pretty interesting. So we'll check that out. Oh, in fact, Mahold, while I remember, you're not allowed to go outside. You're going to stay indoors so you don't get eaten by any, you know, big creatures. Because you are just recently born. He's going to have to get some aging pills, I think. But I would like to try out the Boomalope. So what do we need? We need to turn this back on, right, first of all. Uh, it's Paragon, Paragon. There is a Paragon Boomalope because obviously we've got the ear. Paragon Boomalope. So what do we need? Empty incubator, two Paragon Serum, two organic pulp. Now we can actually get an organic pulp from this thing. Because if you remember, this is the one that got ruined by the temperature, as you can see in the box. So if we... is it this one or this one? I think it's the recycler. It makes sense. Yeah. Unwanted incubator. So if we click this, and basically we just want to make sure that it's not the one that's being done. So I'll forbid this just for the moment. So this should give us how many pulp? Uh, I think it's just one, isn't it? Yeah, one organic pulp. Doing the corpse will give us two, but we don't have any corpses. So what we could do is get some wood. Now, do we have any wood in here? Got five. Okay, let's go to here. Let's just queue up one lot of wood. And hopefully one of my colonists will go off and sort that out for me. Our new two of petals are in here now. In fact, thanks to this, we should be able to grow these extremely quickly. In fact, let me check the... Yeah, growth rate is 180%. I mean, that's extremely good. Depending on how much, how much water does this use, though. To be fair, it doesn't really seem to use all that much. And we're not even using our full capacity of pipe... You know, grow... Grow... What the... On earth am I talking about? Of, pump, you know, pumping capacity. That's better. So we could, we could put some more down here and we can just, we'll be getting so much stuff coming in, it'll be absolutely crazy, but you know what, let's give it a go. So, oh wow, we can actually increase the radius. Oh, hang on. Oh no, it just goes like that, right. Oh, I thought well, that was going to be quite cool if we could do that. No matter. If we do something like this. Oh, this is going to work. Yeah, so we pop one down here, and can we move this one? Yes, we can. Reinstall here. And then between the two of them, we should be able to make 
as the plants grow like crazy. That's done. Malaria immunization has been done. I mean, obviously, I don't have to do the ones I malaria now because malaria you're not going to get on this map. But it's going to be quite handy for us in terms of just being able to get that bulk one done, which is a few researchers along. But again, that one, so we can do all of it in one go and protect against all of this, I think is much, much better. So it's worth just spending a couple 500 bits in order to do it, you know? I am going to have to look though to see how often do I am, am I going to have to make them actually do the, you know, take the tablets. Because I think it's once a season. And I don't know how that exactly works. Let me check. If we go to edit. Like, say for example, we've got Spetango T, right? We're having it once every day. How? Oh, wait, so we could make it so it's potentially every 25 days. Okay, that works. That's great. So we'll let them carry on with that. We've now done that. So let's just pop on lots of pulp. Who's shooting? Oh, Nina. Oh yeah, I forgot you've got your charge lance. This takes a lot longer to shoot than I thought. But on the other hand, it is extremely powerful, I will admit. Oh yeah, I forgot. We had torch weapons, didn't we, last time? Did we finish those? We did. Okay, Nina, come over here and swap out your weapon. And then, who else was going to have one? You've got the, that sword. you got the uh, those. Lou, you can have... Um, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there. Right. You can come and pick this up. And what... No, that's definitely something I need to make sure to do today as well. Alright, let's pick that up. You can drop that on the floor now, since it's no longer needed. You can drop that on the floor. Ruined infections are ready with done. Jesus Christ, they're going through this tech like there's no one's business. Right, let's pop on to something while I remember to do this. So we're going to pause it, switch to battles. Now the thing is, Lou, as we've noticed, it takes absolutely ages to get anywhere in his armor compared to everyone else. So what I'm going to do is swap him over to Tactical. I'm going to give Jarvis here, the soldier. I'm going to see if that makes any difference. It could be that maybe they're just having these armors on and making it difficult for the robots rather than the people. But it just seems weird that so far, every time we've had to deal with it, it's just sort of... Lou takes absolutely... Oh my god, what the hell is... Is that... <laughs> Let me zoom in so you guys can see this. This is, must be the uh, megafauna one we did with the chicken. The chicken loden. A hunting animal. Jesus Christ. Let's have a read of this. This Chickalodon is a very weird cross between one of the most fearsome predators ever existing and a chicken. A saber-toothed chicken, if you will. So its useful ability is it lays eggs and is a very agile predator. Huh. Okay. That is surprisingly strange. I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay. Um. Alright, let's sort out your food. So we want to make sure again it's just kibble. You can eat kibble, can't you? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. So we'll do that. You're going to stay inside as well. You're not big enough yet to go outside and face all those big beasties. Although we can train you up, can't we? He's actually not even a day old and he can already haul stuff. Can't rescue because he's too small to train that, but he can haul blocks of metal apparently. Okay, we're going to give you that. What about... Oh, let's heal you. Okay, you trained up in, in rescue. Tracy, you can do the same. It's always handy to have some animals that will be able to do that for me. Um, Where's the Mahud? Right. Yeah, let's train you up in obedience. And let's get some age tablets going. So we pop onto here, do this. We get two more age tablets, like so. Alright, that should get them going, ready to... S oh, once we get them, we'll make them grow. Now, we need to have some more things, so... Do we need... Gunner has got that. Let's build two more. If we've got the resources. Oh no, Mahon's already got one, so we just cancel that. And that could be for our chicken loading. Oh yeah, that's something I could do now to give the opportunity. So I know... Do I want to... You know, yeah, let's do it. So we've got a trainer. I'm going to choose this. And what I'm going to do 
because Russell, one of my viewers, who actually wanted to be have his name for the Haragon Muffalo here. Instead, we couldn't name it because it wasn't trained. So now it's trained. And we're going to give you... We're going to call you Russell, number t one. I'm going to change your name. Let's call you... I think you were like Elaze or something like that. I'm going to call you Eliza. There we go. If you need a reason, just say that when I was younger, I used to have a crush on Eliza Dushku. After seeing her in as Faith in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, I tell ya. Anyway. So, what we're going to do in today's episode now, we've got that I wanted... Did we get started on this yet? No, did I ask to make an incubator? I probably didn't. No, here we go. Let's get one of these. Jarvis is making that, everyone else is sleeping. Uh, how much bamboo have we got? 370. Um, what do I need to make this billiards table? Uh, okay, we don't have enough cloth. Okay, huh? that nearly done. It is. Okay. I'm going to prevent the Devil Strand from growing for a bit. And what I'll do is actually make it so we can make cotton here instead. But I'm going to allow it to go up to 100% so it gets harvested naturally. We'll switch it over then to cotton. And then we'll be able to get a nice bit of resources from there. Tyler, what? Okay, let's speed things up a bit now. We've been doing it for like 10 minutes. We haven't even gone to speed free yet. So yeah, you're going to come over here and do this for me, are you? Great, thank you. It's appreciated. Can you just quickly move this? Thank you. Alright, Gerador's out and about. Now what I would like to try and do in today's episode is actually start filling out these guest bedrooms. As well as maybe look into what implants we can give Nina. Oh yeah, because that's the other thing we got, wasn't it? This. So now we've got this cargo pod, we can go all over the place, we can trade, we can do everything that we want to do. And we can even look into potentially clearing out this space. Oh dear. What happened here? Adam, what did you do? Oh, did, oh no, Gizmo started the fight. Gizmo. Sorry, that's me being a robotist. Um, Gizmo was insulted by Adam, so he drove him to a rage and began a fight. Okay, in that case, you have no sympathy for me, mate. Alright, Adam. Adam, you can come over here and rest up too. Let's not have it be said that I'm not going to help my colonists, even if they muck things up themselves. Okay, Gerator, go and fix them up. Thank you very much. Right. So that's that. We've got that thing. Now, something else we could do, if we're going to go and start making a whole bunch more animals, is actually to maybe change this section here into something like an indoor field for some of our animals. Maybe not the, um, whatchamacallit, the predators, the carnivores. Thus, for some of the herbivores, like Russell and that, we can just keep them in here until we need them to do something. So, that does have some potential, I must say. Yeah, let's see about doing something like that. So, we need some bamboo doors here. Let's do it here. And then we can just hollow out this whole section here. So, we'll need orders, mine, and if we just... First of all, mine all this out. There we go. We also need some doors for these. We need to get this started at some point. So we can actually have guests come and visit. So we need some vents. Wait for the auto save. Thank you. Okay, vent here. Here. Okay, Paragon Boomalope Incubator's done. Right, we'll keep an eye on that. And see how long it's going to take to do. There, there there and there okay so they're gonna do that and then we need some bamboo for the doors so we need door here 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 okay gizmo you're healed up that's good to see probably did a number on adam from the looks of it okay what's gonna crop up next okay No, nothing. Got worried for a second, for it might be a raid or something. Nope. Sleeping sickness immunization, now done. How many more we got? Oh, right, two more. But look how quickly, like, look on here. Just look how quickly it churns out. It's going to be done, like, in two, a day or two. Between all the researchers that we got going. So I'm quite happy with that. that. Alright. Let's grab some of those lights now. 
So we need some light in the Kung Fu here. And we're going to have to obviously wire up the base a bit too. So let's throw one here, 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 here. Switch around. And then here, 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 here. And then we got here and let's just say up there. Cancel that. There we go, so we're still gonna have lights shining in the place. Still got plenty of power. Now I would like to try and sort out Nina for her extra do we wanna try and work on things like oh no actually we can't because that we already done the leg, didn't we? So the only thing we'll have to do is try and find kidneys. I know some of our colonists have got issues as well, like is it yeah, your back is destroyed, for example. And I still don't know how to fix this. I'm gonna do it for the next episode. I believe it has something to do with involved organs, because they open up more chambers in order to do stuff, but I'm not sure how it affects like other mods, like for example with the prosthetics mods, expanded organs prosthetics, we can't do anything to fix someone's back, you know, unless that's maybe one of the higher tech researchers, or maybe, since we have to do, in fact, what have we got here? Oh yeah, this is for us to do transmutation. I do still want to do this. But I don't know if it's something I want to jump out to do right now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off for the moment. I do want to do it because that mod looks fantastic. Right, and I think it is a really good sort of end game tech to go for. But for now, we've just got so much other stuff like questionable ethics. We've got this um, immunization you know, thing we're doing at the moment. Just so much stuff. Oh, and there we go. It's That's a cool little effect. It's been so long since I used irrigation. I've got it actually spreads out, and you can see the water just going out everywhere. Now, did that affect my water supply? It dropped it down by nearly half. Okay, well, luckily for me, it's piping up so much water at the moment. We should be fine. Okay, gut worms has now been done. Excellent. Alright, so we've now done pretty much all the bedrooms. All we really need to start doing is adding furniture. And then we'll be done, really. Okay, and this has been sorted out too. Okay. Something we could look into doing now is maybe actually start to do, put some floors down in the corridor. Because, like, at the moment, it's just bare stone. Right? Maybe we might want to make it a little bit better than that. So, one of my favorite floors, like, this is from one of the mods you can find. And one of my favorite floors patterns but down is actually hex paving so it's quite cheap to do it's quite nice visually as well so what we could do is maybe start it from out here just queue up a bunch of it to here and like another thing I do tend to do if we had different types of um, stone I like would do it if we pop out here we do our lots of granite but we've got to have slates and stuff like that but we don't have a lot of all this stuff so but one thing I do like to do is make it so you have like a central one going through the middle and then everything else goes out in different directions so you in that case we'll have granite going along the sides here and maybe sandstone or something going incubators hatched oh my god a paragon boomalope cow cow uh, calf that's about to say this tall lean ungulate often usually acts as the dominant individual on a herd of boomalopes more resistant and stronger than regular boomalobes, the Paragon boomalobes also carry greater quantities of unstable chemical filled sacs, so no predator wants to even get close to them. So they do explode when killed with greater force than regular boomalobes, we're gonna have to watch out for that. And they do make chem fuel, just like usual. Okay, well again, you're gonna stay indoors, I think. But there we go, that's pretty cool. So we need another aging pill in order to make them a bit bigger. And I think as well, we're going to have to look into making more kibble. Oh, Arctic Lion. Okay, so this happens sometimes. I don't know if it's happened yet in the this playthrough, but an Arctic Lion is stalking with our colonists. It'll be almost invisible until it decides to attack and is damaged by your colonists. So if we draft them up, they will be able to shoot them. And it's normally a bad thing to do, but if I pause in a minute and we go to wildlife, and we go to Arctic Lions, we can find which one's actually trying to hunt us down. And the problem is... Mad and Manhunter? So even though it's invisible, thanks to this mod, we can see exactly where it is. So it's not that big a deal, I'm afraid. 
We're still going to have to deal with it. Uh, luckily for me, though, if we let it just wait out and about, eventually it will come our way. High ranking official. Ooh. From Arachne Colony sends a distress signal. Multiple of his combatants have sustained serious injuries and require immediate medical attention. They are loaded in a transport pod, but the nearest medical outpost is too far away to save the lives of these men and women. So we call upon you as their ally to help them. Wow. I don't think I've ever had this before. Will you respond to his plea for help and nurture his troops back to health? Sure. Um. Okay. The commander gives you an earnest and heartfelt salute. It loses a lot of his impact and meaning, as you can't see the gesture through the radio, so you hang up. Okay. Um, let's zoom out so we can see where these pods are going. Oh, they're going right out here. Okay. Right, let's rescue them. So, Miri, go rescue Min. Is any of them particularly bad? Dying in six hours. Nineteen. Six. Twenty-two. Ten. You got power armor on, have you? Yeah. Got nice marine armor. Hmm. Something to bear in mind. Okay, Miri, you're gonna go and rescue Min. Nina, come and rescue Mao. Skizmo, come and get Chris. Squid, get Dweeb. Sulfur, get Kirsty. Christy. Right. And then they'll go in, they'll get fixed up on our beds. And we got a camera request. 22 revolvers. Okay, that we could do that, but it's also like I'm not in a particular rush to get Alfie Polly, so I'll leave her for now. Alright. But there we go, we've now got some nice floors coming in. Isn't that nice? Okay, all our colonists are now fixing them up. Now, what's this? Oh, these are my age pills. Gotcha. I mean, I suppose if I really wanted to. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna. We're gonna be nice uh, enough to these allies of ours. Um. Were you? Oh yeah, you're making the age pill, of course. Okay, Chris is no longer capable of walking. Okay. All right. Let's start feeding up our animals. Go Frenzy for Tyler, okay. So by the way, if you like to have a name for one of these new animals, then leave them in the comments, and when we get the opportunity, we'll give them the name. So for example, Mahold here can be given a name straight away. The Paragon Boomalope can't be given one just yet because of obvious reasons, it's, it hasn't been trained yet. And likewise for that uh, Bear Cat of ours, oh no, that's the other one. What am I thinking of? The Chickalodon can be, if it gets trained up and gets a name, then you can pick that one as well. And even for the wolf, our wolf uh, squid. Yeah, sorry, wolf shrimp. So yeah, we've got the wolf shrimp, a Chickalodon, Paragon Boomalope, and Mahood. If you want to have a name for one of these, then let me know in the comments, and I'll keep it in mind for when we actually get them trained up and have them, them able to do so, okay? I release. Um, we'll train you up, for sure. Okay, Adam Farmer is fully healed. Okay, that's my Adam. Gotcha. Alright, that's being harvested now, so let's switch this over to Cotton. I think that's just really cool to watch. Just watch sure all this water come in. What? How much is it now? 249! Wow, I mean, it's gonna go down because of like it's only while the water thing's wet. But 250 like fertility is nothing to sneer at. Jesus, it's gonna make things go extremely fast. Right. Oh wow, you've gone much much bigger. All right, we're definitely gonna have to look into. Oh. What's gonna happen next? Don't tell me it's a raid. Oh, bulk's good trader. I'll take that, certainly. Uh, any new animals for us to take? Uh, it wasn't doing anything to you. Are you going to finish it off? Okay, let's go and hunt it down. Might as well get some more meat for the freezer. 
Might be a good opportunity to go out hunting anyway, or have a look to see what else we got in the area that we can just haul in. Oh. We must have finished off that Arctic Wolf. Arctic Lion. Oh, excuse me, hiccups. In fact, did we finish it off? No, oh, I must have done. Uh, you're injured too. Okay. Right. Welcome, colonists. Welcome, guests, I should say. Alright, there we go. We've got a bit of a floor down now. We'll still need to expand it out towards here at some point. Compacted steel. Okay, we'll take that. At some point, certainly. Okay, how's... Bamboo's been brought in, so we've now got another 322. Okay, that's good to see. Alright, squid, you're going to work on that, are you? Okay. Where is my Neutro flowers? I suppose actually, we're getting a nice little collection here in Neutronamine that we will be able to use with the malaria with the immunization tablets when they're done. In fact, we're doing bulk immunization now. That's quite good. Polar Bear Revenge. Done that. Right. Gizmo, go and have a chat with these guys. With Pushka. Go have a chat with Pushka, see what we can get from you. I think we're going to need more Plasteel. I can see we only got like one little bit there. Let's have a look. Chickalodon, Radiax, Raccoon Meat. Okay, we got a fair bit of meat. And lentils, we've got loads of lentils. Wars Meat, we might take... I'll tell you what, let's go down to the good stuff at the bottom. Let's see what we can get. Devil Strand Armchair, okay. Wombs World, constructing buildings. Bagratus. <laughs> I love the imagination that went into these names, you know, like, Bagratus is obviously Tetris, you know? <laughs> okay, jumpsuits. Bamboo plate armor, interesting. Uh, flag pants, we'll sell those off. Parkers, we'll keep. We don't need any of your stuff. Scrubs. That could be quite useful if we gave it to someone like Miri. Because then when she does like operations, it actually does much better. But I suppose we can, can just make that ourselves if we need to. Uh, we we'll, won't worry then. Tooks. In fact, we might as well just, I'll just get rid of that for you. Kibble, we'll keep. Beer, we'll keep. Don't need any of these. Fertilizer, we're getting ridiculous again. 974. Okay, maybe doing a shopping trip sometime. And uh, let's get rid of this, this, this. Spectango tea, Peridine, pe sand. Yeah, we'll get, we can say you're my sand, certainly. Buffalo wool, okay, that can go. Do I just buy your entire stock of cloth? <laughs> maybe. Insect jelly... Do we want the insect jelly? To be honest, I think that can go. In that case, we'll just buy all your whole supply of cloth. It will come in handy for us, at least. Otherwise, what else do we need? Some more components, always comes in handy. Otherwise, really, that's just about it. I mean, we could go for the surgical mask, I guess. I mean, what does that do? Again, that's an extra 5-10%. You know what, let's buy it. I'm sure it might come in handy for some point. And... Okay, let's... Let's not sell them our entire stock of insect jelly then, if they can't afford it. Let's say minus 250. Nope. Say 200. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Let's now haul all of this in. Right, so let's have a think. Like, we could just keep the supply in here. Maybe have it and then when it's needed, then we can just have it so... Oh, wait, we'll switch one of the counters over to med... Fact, that might work. So if we pop to assign, manage outfits, we're going to create a new outfit, and we'll just call it, um, medicals. Let's call it just, you know, fancy medical scrubs. So again, we're just going to stick it 51%. We want a good quality. Don't want to tatter the power. Clear it. Never go scrubs. 
What layer is this? Skin. Okay. And then mask. Surgical mask, but it tries. Okay. And then. So we'll do that. Pop in here then. Because we might as well keep it in with the uh, drug pile, I guess. So we'll pop on here, just call this medical. Uh, medical ribs. Nope. Let's try scrubs. Okay, scrubs. And then. Mask. I can't spell mask today. It doesn't help that when I record, I've got my mic sitting right in front of the computer, the keyboard. So sometimes it's like reach around it and you're tapping the wrong buttons. Okay, let's do that. Set that as important priority. And then hopefully that will send them off then to where they need to go. Wow. That chicken has now decided to get bigger. Oh dear. Okay, let's have a quick look at your training. Can we train you now to rescue? We can. Uh, let's have a look. Eliza? Nope, you've already been trained up. Uh, Paragon Mahud. Let's train you in all of these too. Might as well give our colonists something to do, eh? Right. That needs to be activated so we can actually haul them. Our smoke leaf is nearly grown. Okay. Have I made it so once it's done we're no longer grown it? Yes. Hmm. Do we want to do the rat? I don't know. Like, to be honest, I'm not particularly fussed about having a, a rat run around a base. I suppose we could do it just to experiment and see what it turns out with. So, you know what? Let's give it a go. So we need another one of these. We need three lots, I presume, of pulp. So let's grab three lots. And then if we pop to the enrichment, we'll go... Let's cancel these. Rats. Rats. There we go. Let's just see what they come up with in this next one. Okay, we'll cancel... So what, let's just call this... Incubators. That, we can hide the zone. Mao has been fit. Okay, so they're now... Alright. So when they can feel better, they just walk off. And then I presume then that every time they leave the map, we get the bonus for like... Alright, oh, they managed to leave the base safely and in full health. You know, plus public order. Or well, not public order, that's Warhammer. You know, plus public relations. <laughs> Alright, did we finish this? No. Okay, chicken loading. Congratulations, you now got one of these. And you can get one of these too. Alright, Fuzzy. Well, don't thank you very much. We're not starting to work on that. All this can be hauled out. We don't need it in our stock room. Thank you very much. Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's just do it like this. How many we got? Seven? Okay. Pop to here. Uh, not the sun lamp. To the electric smelter. Get seven lots of this done. And let's just let someone do it. Although, let's pop to bills. I might need to get more kibble. So let's say six, say 700 for now. And there we go, a new pool table. Replace the one that the bugs destroyed last time. Oh wow, you can set owners for these apparently. Right. Let's continue sorting out. Have we got more stone? I think we do. What I'm going to do actually, let's grab Miri. Because I don't really want Miri to be stone cutting unless she it really has nothing else to do. But she has. Oh God, okay. So let's grab this. Let's do a little bit outside. Uh, we don't want it on the grating because remember, this is where we're our dirt's popping in. We'll put it across here though. Cancel these ones. And then let's we'll start sort of working it out in here then too. Okay. Did we ever put great uh, the gratings down here? We did, yes. Okay. Alright, manufactured empty incubator. Squid, can you quickly make me Oh, apparently we need more Oh no, maybe I think it might be going off to do it, is she? 
No, she's gone to wash mid. There we go. Mao has exited the map healthily, which means now we got goes up to 100. Okay. Hmm. We need a room for these uh, animal beds too. Okay, let's grab this and stick it here. And then we'll just... Uh, no, that's not uninstall. Okay, we'll put reinstall up here. Alright, looks like the rat one's done. So let's we'll wait for it to hatch and then we'll see what it's all, supposed to be all about. Uh, that's a step in the mirror out a bit now. It seems kind of weird when we watch like the giant Russell here. The giant <laughs> muffalo. So I uh, first sit squashing up over Tracy. So if we just do something like this for now, at least to get some out the way. There we go. And of course we need some light in there so they, we can see what our creatures are up to. Could do with a light here in fact. Right, let's just sort things out a little bit. How's the water situation here now? It is starting to go down. We need to improve this a bit. Hmm. I wonder. We could always put some stuff out here, couldn't we? Like, if we went down to a pump, what is our water chances here. Uh, electric pump. Nope, electric pump. We need wind pump, sewage outlets. What am I looking for? Water well. That's the bird. There. So yeah, we could put it down here and it's actually got quite a lot of water in the area. That is definitely a potential thing and then we can just pipe it in then to join up in here. So we have two lots of it happening then instead of just this one and then yeah we'll just pipe it up to the pipe that's coming here yeah I think that will work let's get a water well and then place it just by here we'll have the same setup as the other side then so we'll have an electric pump nearby here and then a wind pump uh, something like I don't know just here do we need to make our wood? Bamboo? Yeah, we'll just stick it here. Let it be built and then we'll connect up all the piping in using granite. And there we go. All of a sudden here is looking much nicer too, all the way up here. Dream... Oh wow! That is a nice name, Dreamweaver. But there we go, Dreamweaver now is an option for you guys. If you'd like to try and uh, pick a name for him, then feel free to do so. Alright, let me just start check. Yeah, the cable doesn't ever go off, does it? So, I'll tell you what, let's pop in here. Let's do a stockpile. Uh, we'll stick it just so it's like that. Call this, I don't know, the cable pile. Alright, pop in here, clear this, clear this, choose cable. And set that as sort of important and we'll hide it too and now and then we should be bringing all the kibble into here and then so I say our animals keep going into the freezer in order to try and eat oh fuzzy and sulfur have picked up the plague of all things how there were, I have questions about how do you pick up the plague out of the blue no matter uh Fuzzy, 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 right. You need to get into bed so you can get fixed up. And who else was it? Sulfur, I think? Yeah, Sulfur, you've got the play too. Get into bed. Oh, you're already in bed. Okay, Miri, can you um, go and have a fix with them, please? Thank you. And don't forget to do Fuzzy. There we go. Now I just have to see how long it's going to take for us to fix the plague. Okay, immunity 6%. It is going up, I believe, a bit faster than the plague itself, so as long as we keep on top of it, we should be fine. 
The shame's not like an infection where we can just cut it out if we need it. Okay. That's it. Okay, here's a pretty weird looking rat. Let's have a look. This rat is obviously disease ridden. Useful ability Paragon rats spread the bubonic plague when they bite. Careful. Um. I'm just going to do this. I don't think I know if we needed to have someone with, you know, rat spreading the plague here in our colony. I mean, we already got someone with the plague. We don't need to get any more. Thank you. There we go. Uh, we'll go rid of the evidence. Right, we've now picked up a whole bunch of smoke leaf that we'll soon be making into joints. Right, what can we swap this now to instead? Uh, I've got plenty of corn. I've got hops. What about olive trees? We haven't made olive trees for a while. Let's go for that. Uh, Lao Sowen. There we go. Transport pod crash. A um, Ooh, Loba. You're... Oh, wow, you're actually a Logan. Fantastic. Um, okay, we need to get you over here before someone eats you. Ideally. Now, the thing is, these guys have actually got a healing ability, as you can see here. And it means that this should be healing up fairly quickly. As well, as you can see, it is. And that's before it gets tended. Artificial clavicle. Huh. I might have to have a look to see how we actually fix these. Oh wow, you're riding, you're riding the saber-toothed chicken. <laughs> oh, I have to check one thing with Dream Reaver. Is she a female? Yes, yeah, so we actually get chicken, <laughs> chicken load and eggs. Oh, and Logan has joined us. Loba, I mean, has joined us. Oh, fantastic. Welcome to the team, Loba. Alright, now we just need to... I'll tell you what, let's grab blue plants. So we need just to do something like this. And say, yeah, record bedroom one. Um, actually, we don't quite need the carpet. Okay, let's have a quick look. Okay, that's not going to quite work. Never mind. I right, tell you what, we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. So, let's build... No, we don't want to do the economic tape ones because that's quite expensive to do at the moment. We'll, we'll, we'll make them, don't worry. I'll tell you what, actually, let's just go for doubles. You never know when a someone ends up getting together, and so it's just easier then to place down, be you know, multiple beds like this. Okay, and let's separate it. Do it this way, this way. Put one here, or put one by. So the way around it is. Put that there, and we'll put one down here. And there we go, we'll soon start having people coming in to join the colony. Right, Lobo, what are you good at? You're actually... Wow, you are fantastic. Very good with intellectual, shooting, melee, animals, social, passionate. Wow, medical, not too bad, crafting is good. Okay, well let's throw out your part thing quickly. So I'm going to let you be a doctor as well, because you've got a passion for it, and you will get better over time. Um, we'll let you be a surgeon, but we'll let you do that. Bed rests, hall, basic, we'll let you finish off like everyone else. We are not too fussed about, we'll let you stay on the floor for that. Likewise for that. Warden, we'll let you do. Jailer, we'll do as well as negotiate. If you can't do those, we'll have you research. And then, crafting we'll have on two. We'll let you do drugs too. Uh, plant cuts, stone, crafting. We'll let you do that. Something like that. And we'll put that on free. There we go. So now we do that. We'll pop... Let me just check. Loba, what was your stats like? Your chatty... Okay, chatty's fine. And psychically deaf. That works. So... While we, if we have any buffs to mood, we're not going to unfortunately have those. But if anything bad happens, we don't have to worry about it either. In that case, let's just sort out your work schedule. Uh, we've already done your work schedule, sorry. 
Let's swap Gizmo and drop it with Loba. So that's that. Jarvis, we haven't sorted out your schedule yet. Okay, let's grab Adam. Stick you that. There we go. Right, now if we grab a no, wooden dresser. How much more bamboo do we have? Not enough for what I was planning to do. Okay. In fact, let's... Let's swap this over to bamboo for the moment. Just so we can make a whole bunch of bamboo happen while we're trying to sort out the, um, you know, guest bedrooms and that. But for the moment, because, yeah, all this is filled up. Let's set this now to Jarvis Loba. There we go. Oh, and we need to sort it out, so pause a minute. Loba, you're going to wear worker stuff for now. Battle stuff then for soldier. And then we need to pop onto here. And 8 out of 9? Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, we just need 9, don't we? Yeah. Hang on. What do we need for protective stuff? Components and steel. Do we have steel? We should have steel. Yeah, we've got plenty of steel. Don't know what they're talking about. Okay, and... Okay, me nice. Did we finish the bulk immunization then? Bulk. I can't spell bulk apparently. Bulk. Come on. There. Bulk, 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 bulk. Bulk immunization. We did. Oh. Goody, goody, goody. Okay. So what I think we need to do now. If we pop on here. Go to bulk immunization. Okay. Bulk. Smoke leaf. Bulk immuno pill. So we just need to make four of these for an entire quadrant. Labour and resource tends to produce, but incredibly useful. Okay, so what we do is if we get... How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Never mind the human robots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we make it so we always have 9 of these. Okay. Pause then. Unpause when we're satisfied. Unpause then when we have 1. Right. So we do something like that. Okay. Then, oh crap, I just realised we left this on battle. Okay, switch back to normal, please. Thank you. Alright, go and switch back into that. Thank you. Okay. So, we're going to have that set up now for doing that. And what we need to do then is if we pop to assign drug policies. So, at the moment, we've got the social drugs one, right? Now, it's a shame I don't have the ability to copy it. But... Okay, that's close enough. If we just do um, social drugs robots, right? Because they don't have to worry about getting ill, right? So I'm not too fussed about that. If we, though, choose... Where is Spectrogo T? There. We'll allow that to happen as usual, okay? But now if we pop to our social drugs here, now and we go for the bulk humanization when we find it, Antibiotics, serums, period. Oh, Christ, it should be on here. Suma. Hyperprofen, space to go. Oh, hang on. Do I need to put it in because of another mod? One sec. Is there a new policy? Did I not see it? Yeah, it's. Oh, so it's not on the social one, right? Okay. Uh, what we're doing then is if we switch social policy, yeah, they don't have any of that stuff on here. Okay, so we switch back to drug policy. We'll change this then to social drugs, like so. We'll allow them to basically do all the stuff. I'm not going to allow any uh, Luciferium. There's just no way in hell. Right, we'll allow Spectacle T, Spectacle T. We'll allow that to happen every day. And then if we can find that bulk immunized, bulk mechanized immune pill, I think this is the one that we're going to try and research afterwards, which gives us all that immunity. So we do that, and we'll do it so it's every every 25 days. No, every 20 days. That gives us a little bit of leeway then. And if we do the same for this, when we eventually get it, 
There, that should help us out. So, what we do then is make it so the... Okay, in fact, let's pop... So this one can be deleted. Drug policy is used by Tyler. Okay, fine, we'll do it this way. So Miri is that. Nina is this. Gizmo. Squid. And we can tell because I've got capitals in my one and they don't. Lou is social drugs for robots. Gerador social drugs. Fuzzy smoke drugs. Drug for robots. Social drugs. Robots. And do we actually have four robots? Huh. I didn't realize. Hang on. No, we don't. Lou is an android. Adam's a farmer. Ty yeah, we do. You know what? All this time and I had no idea. <laughs> well, talk about learning new stuff, eh? Alright, so now we can go on here. We can delete this. And there we go. So now our people still have tea. But all the characters that can actually have the immunized pill will be able to have it. What we need now is someone to actually make it. Loba. Go and make me some drugs. Okay, you're making Neutronomy first of all. I'll tell you what, do that as a bigger priority for me, please. Alright, Fuzzy's now taking it. So if we click on Fuzzy now, hit Health. Immunized to all natural diseases. Excellent. And yeah, it uses a bit of Neutronomy, but as long as we have our growth happening all the time, and we convert them as soon as we can into, into Neutronomy from here, we should be on top of that because we only need to do it every 20 days. There is 9, 8, uh, 36. So we are going to use 36 of this like once a, once a quarter of a year in order to do it. But we should be fine. Right. There we go. We've managed to get that sorted. We've now got a bunch of bedrooms done. Morton shells, what the hell are these? A heavy composite metal shell is designed to be fired by large caliber Morton weapons. Oh, so I'm guessing it's not for the mortar. Bugger. I was kind of hoping it was going to be. No matter. Alright, let's, um, for the moment, I'm gonna... No, I'll allow this to keep going, I guess. Alright, let's just put down the rest of this note. So we'll put a copy of the thing here. We'll put bamboo end table by you here. And then we want bamboo dresser. We'll stick that by here. We'll just put some flower pots in here, I guess. Alright, in fact, yeah, let's sort out her bedroom first. I think she's a bit of more of a priority for our colonists rather than just the guest bedrooms here. So we'll forbid all these. Alright, and as soon as we get our next crop of bamboo, we'll be able to get that sorted. That's been done. Alright, oh yeah, let's set up as well medicine. So we can actually do medicine now, as you can see here. So we also need Neutrinamine bandage kits and herbal medicines. Now, bandage kits we need to make in the tailoring bench using cotton. But if we just pop on here, we'll do, do until we have... We only got 10 at the... We've got 18 out of 10 at the moment. Let's say we've got... No, we don't need 110. Jesus. Let's just say till we have 10, 20. And if we ever run out, let's say run, run out... Well, actually, it makes... For what our time, doesn't it? So let's say 24. And unpause when we have 8. No, I said unpause at 8. Thank you. And take this into the drug cabinet. There we go. That should work. Now and then we're always going to have a stockpile of medicine. And Lobo will be able to focus on that for me. Did she actually make all that medicine? She did, it's just that no one's eat haven't been eaten yet. That's okay, look will get around to it eventually. Right. I have to say, I'm pretty happy how this colony has gone so far. Oh, mining co-landership. 
Uh, who had... One of these guys had Inspire Trade. I'm trying to remember which one. Oh, me, me, Nina, you've taken it. Oh, that's good. They've actually taken the medicine like they're supposed to. Sulfur hasn't yet. Uh, oh good, you've developed immunity. I can't remember, uh, Fuzzy was the other one, wasn't it? Oh good, she's developed immunity too. Okay, which one had the Shattered? Um, nope. Loba. Artificial Clevercore. I could swore one of them has just been inspired, but I can't remember which one might have been, if any of them was. I'll tell you what, come out here and trade with the trade ship. Let's get some more Plasteel into our base. Uh, they don't have a lot, but we'll certainly buy it from them. Do we need any more steel? Nah, gold, we're good for it. I think we're good. Right, at least we'll be able to start making a couple more things. Like, we need to actually sort out some extra limbs for our colonists, don't we? Like, I saw, was it Lobo or Jarvis? is missing a thumb. Left index finger shattered. Not that it really does much, but it does lower his manipulation a little bit, which does affect him slightly too. Let's have a quick look. Implants, parts. Create a mining arm, crude arms. We would be able to make better versions of these, but I mean, we could always make a complete new arm. I think we're okay. We're not that drastic yet. Okay, how's this going on? Who's making it? Gizmo. Gizmo, come in for it. Can I this? Uh, Gizmo? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, are you already done 909 in that case? We're not worried about that then. Okay, have fun with that, Miri. Your, what's the state of your weapons anyway? 52%. A little bit more, and then we're going to have to try and reduce it down a bit. Oh yeah, we forgot to do this, didn't I? Right, we need pipes. Okay, that's all connected up, so if we just do from there to there, do from here to here and then up to there, it'll all pipe in into the bigger network and that should provide us with much more water. And then if we grab granite tower, we'll build another one of these just by a door here. That should help out and we can still shoot a few things when we need to. So I'll tell you what, if you can Tyler, 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 okay, Tyler, go and sort out the water tower for me, please. Alright, mining coaster is taking off, there we go. Alright, which direction to take our floors now? This way, I think. And of course... Another thing we could do, now that things are starting to tidy up a bit, is if I grab all of this. Oh, Christ, this game slowing down drastically. Okay, stop. Stop there. So now they should start smoothing out all these floors. I'm not too fussed about this section, to be honest. And uh, likewise for here. In fact, let's cancel this bit out. But the rest of the bedrooms now can be smoothed out, and this will add to the beauty bonus of the rooms. That will make them much more happier from that. Okay, uh, Tyler. Tyler. Buddy. Come over here and finish this off, please. Alright. So at least we can start pumping the stuff out, if nothing else. Get into the w in here. There we go. It's coming out. Uh, blocked by granite tower. Okay, damn. Right, let's cancel this. Maybe we just put another one of these down instead. Yeah, let's just put another one of these down for the uh, for the moment. Oh wow, we actually getting all this done extremely quickly now. Eliza, you're heading out and about, that's nice to see. Right, so we're now working on this. Then we've got T2 Androids, Advanced Programming, then we'll start working on the stuff that we need in order to start growing our organs. And then we can actually start fixing some of our characters then. We still want to enhance them, 
But while we've got things like missing kidneys and stuff like that, they're just going to be sitting around with, you know, apparently destroyed backs and stuff. Whereas at least now, once we get the organs growing, in fact, we'll need to mine out a bit more of this base then. Especially if we're going to start looking into radiology afterwards as well. So many research to do, so little time. Okay, let's have a quick look. Grind a pump in. There we go. First he has created a masterwork bamboo dresser. Oh, Loba, you should be happy. Right. Now they're going to start smoothing that out. It gives them all something to do, after all. Uh, psychoid. I suppose we could always make something with psychoid. Hmm. Actually, we could do some more food. Let's have a quick look. Pull. And let's have a look for more bodies. Uh, okay, there's one. Got a penguin, a radiac. Nightling. One of these. Uh, no, that's still alive. Okay. Dude. A uh, human, it looks like. We'll take that, certainly. Do, 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 do. Okay, well that's a few more bits for the for the freezer anyway. Okay, more some more bamboo needs to be done. Actually, so what? Let's just cancel, deconstruct these, and we'll put them down again. So, for bit. Uh, oh, oh, you're carrying Vinny the Alchemist. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, another dead animal. Let's take that. Someone will come back for you. Don't worry, Lynx. Right. That's slowly growing up. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Do we really not have any more? Okay, one sec. Wolf Shrimp, you can come in here now. And Dreamweaver, you can come in here too. There you go, just so you're not sleeping around the base. Okay, Tyler, can you just deconstruct these quickly for me? And then hopefully we'll have enough then to actually get this, this finished off. 64. Okay, prioritize working on this. And prioritize working on this. Okay, we'll pop one there, pop one there. Come on, Tyler, you can do this. Buddy, I have faith in you. Finish off. Finish this off. No? There, finish it off. There we go, perfect. Right. Here's what I'm going to do. Right? We, obviously, we want these be guest bedrooms to appear nice for our visitors as well, right? So if we do something like this, 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 switch it over to this side, this side, put it by here, and put one by here. All right, so hear me out. We're going to set this all up, but we're going to forbid it all and just work on one room at a time. That way, then... We can guarantee that we'll always have the bamboo and just to do one space, and then we're not going to be doing like, okay, so we've done the, you know, end table in this room, but not in this room, and we've done the bed here, but this one's got the wardrobe, you know, so we can save us doing after anything like that. And then we'll grab this, we'll stick one here, we'll just stick them here for the most part, maybe in some other places, just because we want to make the rooms a little bit more unique. Something like that can go here, this one can go by the side here, this one can go by the side of the bed there, and this one can pop here. Now we'll just make it so if we click on these, forbid, 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 apart from this one room. So this one will be our next one to work on, and then this will be our first of our guest bedrooms. But I've actually now gone over the time a little bit, so let's end today's episode right here. So. We now started on the guest bedrooms. We've got a new colonist, our first non-human 
living colonist, Loba. And we've got a few more animals. Next time, we're going to be having a go. We're going to see about maybe getting a few more animals. We're probably going to start working on this bit so we can actually have somewhere for our animals to live. So they're not just wandering around the base all the time. And then we are going to hopefully finish off the immunization with bulky mechanites. And hopefully we'll start clearing out some space so we'll actually be able to get into biological distillation. And maybe even go crazy and start getting some bioreactors. Which will allow us to put animals in that and, and living creatures inside reactors like the Matrix and use them as a battery. Very, very cool. But that's all going to happen next time. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope you join me next time for more Wimworld. But until then, everyone, take care. And goodbye for now.